Yeah, I wanna see you work, 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 and work. I wish like me, yeah, I know my work. Fucking with me is a gift and a curse. I pay my. What's up? It's your girl, Chief Ten, and excuse my voice. But that goes into the theme of today's video. We are getting into what I wore to my HBCU homecoming, and that is why my voice is gone. So if you would like to see what look she gave this year at homecoming and all the pieces that I got from Fashion Up, just keep on watching. All right, so yes, your girl is back, back at home after a wonderful homecoming weekend. Um, if you know anything about HBCU homecomings, you know it is just a time of love, remembering, reminiscing, getting back to what really feels like home. It really does feel like coming home. So I had a great weekend with my, my college crew. We did what needed to be done. We drank. And one thing about Tennessee State University, the Tennessee State University, I bet we gonna drink and have a good time. And that's on 3500 John A. Mary Boulevard. Okay, period. So let's get into some of these looks. But first of all, first let's get into today's look. So today's brows are brought to you by Nova Beauty, okay? Um, I got some new products and if you would like to see some more of that, you could definitely check out my TikTok. I got a little get ready with me that I did my birthday makeup using my new Nova Beauty products. And my face came together. I would definitely say I'm pleasantly surprised that Fashion Nova having literally everything you need for the girls. It's for the girls. So today I have on this brown shadow. I think it's the DTF brow pencil in brown. And I love how natural my brows look. And then I hope somebody's gonna ask about my lip because I tried something new today and I really do like it. It's like the little frost bitten type of look or whatever. But I have on this red lipstick and we just tapped a little bit in the center and then I went over it with this clear gloss and this is uh, like a, you know, a plumping gloss. So yeah, did what needs to be done. So if you were wondering what I was using, that's what I did or how I got it done. That's how I got it done. And you could definitely use Nova Beauty products to get this done. There's a lippy on there that I got my eye on. So hopefully the next video we will have that. We can try that. They have a really cute clear, I mean, it's clear gloss, but they have a cute clear gloss. And then they have one that's kind of like red cherryish color. So you could definitely use Nova Beauty products to get this look. And I said, yeah, pleasantly surprised, but I'm digging it, okay? And if you like I said to see more, go on my TikTok. And then today's fit, this is one of the misses for homecoming. So let's hop into this one first. Um, so we have this really cute bodysuit. It's supposed to be like the poster girl bodysuit. And I wanted to try this one first because I have one that has no sleeves and I wanted one with sleeves since it's getting a little nippy. Not that it covers anything. I just wanted that sleeve detail. But this one is just, I needed, I just needed some more from it. And it's a one size fits all piece. And when I say maybe it's not holding on to anything. So my girls, if you're getting up there with the two X, three X, this one size, you'll be in it. When I say stretch, I'm sitting down and we're stretching, okay? Stretch is out of this world. So if you want this piece and I think it's really sexy for lingerie, I would not see myself outside the house in it. I love to be naked but not this naked. So yeah, great lingerie piece though. I really would like somebody to rip it off of me. I will say that, yeah. But since this one didn't work out for me, it was just a little bit too much skin. I got something that was very close, similarly close to it. And this is night one of homecoming nights, of, of, well, of homecoming weekend. Uh, we went out to a couple bars and this jumpsuit really did it. If you have been following me, subscribe to this page and been watching my Fashion Over Curve hauls, you know I live and love the Snatch Collection and this is no different. This little cutout piece jumpsuit here. Your girl was lit. Get it to the body, okay? This is my favorite video from Home King. Getting to the body. Snatched in this Snatched jumpsuit. Yes, she served. Boots are also from Fashion Nova. Bag is also from Fashion Nova. She had to size down and this is in a size large. When I say it's snatching, I'm telling y'all, if you are normally a 2X or a 3X, you could definitely get into those 1Xs I would suggest sizing down, honestly. Depending on the type of snatch you want, the snatch collection is gonna snatch you. So, love how this came out. I got so many compliments on the girl gang um, at the Libra Skill underscore. You wanna see all the behind the scenes of me getting ready, my DIYs, my brain, everything into that. That's the page you follow. Girls only, men, if you come, I can think you some man. If I think it's a spam, you're not gonna get at it. So it's for the girls only, literally for my girls. So yeah, follow me over there. But yeah, let's get into the next piece, night two, day two. Day two was the pep rally and I decided to wear this like corset tank top, this 
y'all know if this was in a past haul, this denim skirt, I decided to fold it up because I wanted a more of a mini skirt type of look. So I folded it up to get that look and then these boots. And on the top and the boots, I did a little DIY. Again, if you follow me on the Libra scale, you will see all the behind the, behind the scenes on that. Um, did a little DIY, but I love how these pieces are fitting. So firstly, the top, um, I actually could have sized down. It has really great stretch. I love the little clasp detail. It came around and it fits nicely. The shirt overall has great stretch. So if you are thinking my bust isn't gonna fit, you can style it how I styled it. I left a couple of them unbuttoned, but also like I said, amazing stretch. The skirt we already know that was from a past haul, bomb stretch, and I didn't wanna cut it because I love how this sits and fits on my body as a maxi. This skirt, oh my gosh, this skirt. And then moving into the boots, I got so many compliments on my boots and I actually saw somebody at home come and wearing the boots unpainted, un diy and I said, yeah, they're fire. I absolutely love these. The flame detail, and it's like a cowgirl boot and I just thought that was so fitting. Tennessee had a little Dolly Parton inspiration and yeah, I was just trying to, and sophisticated ladies, if you don't know, that's the Tennessee State University uh, major at dance team. So all of those things came into this look were the inspo for this look. And if it would have been cool enough, I would have paired it with this camo jacket just to offset. If you can't mix more than one print, you're not talking to me about fashion. Don't talk to me, don't talk to me, don't talk to me. I play with textures, I play with patterns, I play with fabrics, I play with it all, okay? If that scares you, this might not be the look for you. But I love to play with it all and you know we love to sparkle so that's where the DIY came in. But everything fits so good. The cowboy boots, it gave me a little baby heel so they weren't terrible to walk in. Um, they took well to my DIY, so I love that. The camel crop jacket, super cute. Love the length, love the way it sits on my body. And yeah, this outfit was everything. I got so many compliments on it. And yeah, they're like, you're definitely serving a look. And that's what I want to do, a little cute TSU mascot. And I think she did what needed to be done. So next, I feel gorgeous. I think I'm a concealer and lashes type of girl. I don't have on foundation or anything. I feel so freaking pretty. I feel beautiful. And this lip is really doing it for me. Yeah, I feel so sweet and innocent. Even though I'm a motherfucking handful. <laughs> okay, next, next, next. Next, we're gonna skip to day three and this was a brunch day party and in theory i love the outfit but execution it was giving me very much meh um when i tried it on everything fits really well but in pictures i feel like everything just looks a little bit tight so i wish i would have sized up on everything the top the top and the boots um i mean the top and the pants but also the boots and the bag are also from fashion Nova. i just love that my whole trip was pretty much Sponsored by Fashion Nova. We just need to smack that. Uh, my my closet, as we say in every video, my closet is pretty much Fashion Nova. So I love that I can play around and I have so many things to choose from to create this look and that I still get asked, where did you get that from? And I can gladly say, proudly say every time, Fashion Nova. Keeps your girl fly. So yes, I love this top. I love the corset fit. If the girls, the girls were sitting very, very nicely in that top. Um, I do wish it was just maybe one size bigger just because of the arms. Um, it comes fitted, very fitted across the back. So if you have a wider back, that top, I definitely would suggest sizing up because it's a zipper. It does not have stretch. I'm surprised that I fit into this extra large. I really thought I got a 1X. I don't know who I thought I was, but I got up in that thing. But it definitely was like kind of cut a little um, tight for me across the back and the arms, so I would definitely suggest sizing up, but the girls were sitting perfectly, love it. And then the pants are like, a, they stretch really nicely actually for leather. I was pleasantly surprised about that. So that's why I say the fit, it feels good. It doesn't feel like they're too tight, but when I looked at them in the pictures, I'm like, that look a little tight. And when I was watching, watching the video, you could like see it with every move and that's just not what I was wanting. So the outfit itself I liked, but my personal execution of it, bleh. But yes, get these pieces and style it. How would you style it? What would you wear it with? And what would you wear it to? Let me know down in the comments below. So next fit, next after the Henny Brunch, we went to Tailgate. And Tailgate is like the most, I would say probably one of the more festive parts of homecoming. You get to just bump into everybody. Everybody's drunk and happy. It's really just a great time. People barbecuing, cooking out, sharing, and it's just really, really great energy. So after all these heels and all these looks all weekend long, I'm like, yo, I was so ready for this outfit for the sneakers just alone. The sneakers by itself. Boom. Love these denim 
they kind of are giving Air Max to me. I love the look and I think they just paired perfectly with this outfit. Uh, the pants were super stretchy and comfortable. That's green mineral wash. It did what needed to be done, tied into the hat. Um, this uh, jacket, crop jacket, I love the distressing detail on it. And these three pieces combined together just gave me the most comfortable look for my night. I could last all the way through tailgate because last year I played myself and I did not get to enjoy tailgate because I had on combat boots and I had to sit out. I was done. The day before I had worn those combat boots, I was fine, but my feet were done with me before tailgate. So I did not get to explore and experience homecoming last year. So this year, we played it safe, we played it right, and we put on sneakers and we had a great time. Comfortable with the pants, your body, my body gets to jiggle and wiggle. I just feel free and you know, you having a good time. Hey, throwing ass is, is in the mix somewhere. So these pants really did it for me. And it did get a little bit nippier, a little bit colder as the day went on. And that day was just chilly period. So my jacket was perfect and I could put all my different buttons on it. So I really loved and enjoyed this fit and it was probably it was my favorite comfort outfit of the weekend, for sure. Yeah, love it. And I want these pants in every color because when I say they're that comfortable, they're that freaking comfortable. I want them in every freaking color. For travel wear, we kept it cute and simple. I love a baby tee and ass fat, wallet fatter, period. It's a very me statement. I love it. Simple white tee. Um, there's another top that I have from Fashion Nova and I wish this baby tee was made in that fabric. It's a little bit stretchier and a little bit more form thing. This one's a little bit uh, thinner, um, still cute. It's, you know, nothing to be like, oh my God, I'm not gonna get the shirt over. But if I could pick, there's this shirt that I have from Fashion Nova that says my body, my choice, something like that, or my body, not yours. Let me find it. Shirt, and I love the material of this shirt and I wish this uh, ass fat with wallet fatter top was made in the same material. But nonetheless, the shirt gonna get worn. I love, it's like a 90s vibe with a little, uh, they're not rhinestones, but like, what? I'm gonna call it rhinestone for now. Like rhinestone, imprinted, hot press, whatever top tee. It's definitely giving me Britney Spears, Paris Hilton, early 2000s, 90s vibes. I love that. And again, another flare pant. Flare pant is gonna be like this, this season, baby. The flare pant, it just fits. It's like this, y'all know the, from the summer they used to have like all the prints on it. It's that, but they're plain and I love them. Every color, I'm getting it in both styles. Then one on wore for tailgate with the mineral wash and this style here. Every color, I want them. They're comfortable. They hit me nicely. They sit great on my butt. They fall to the floor nicely. I want it. Every single color. Every single color. So yes, love this travel outfit. And this will get worn over and over and over and over and over. Because baby, we love to be sexy. We love style. We love fashion. We love all that. But what we love more than all of it is comfort. <laughs> yeah, cute comfort. Now, moving into probably, I think these are the misses of this haul. Items that didn't quite fit or just didn't get worn. So this is an outfit that I really did want to wear. So this jacket, I was going to pair with this jumpsuit that I have underneath, another from the Snatch Collection. I'll put pictures so you can see them here. The jumpsuit, this is why I said to size down on the Snatch Collection was too big. I was getting some gapping um, on the back, the pant leg. I was like pulling it all the way up and it was like diaper, coochie and I was like yeah I know this is too big so really um wanted to wear this but I decided to pair it with this jacket as well and this jacket is giving money okay I love this bomber jacket it's definitely giving me inspo from something I won't say what but I love it I freaking love this jacket and I actually had to size down two sizes this jacket is in a size medium I got my typical size in jackets which is like an extra large swallow me okay swallow me so this is a medium love the way yeah, so ready to wear this somewhere. Uh, 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 uh. Love this detail. I'm not from LA, haven't never been to LA. Um, not born in 93, but we love everything about this jacket. I feel so fly, I need to, I gotta, we're gonna come up with a fit just for this jacket because baby it's eating, eating, giving money. It's giving a cost a little coin, okay? I love it, embroidery. I'm so excited to wear this. I need some fly ass kicks, okay? So yeah, um, next, lastly for the misses of this haul, which I really wish did fit. I've been on this black and white 
that's just been my vibe lately i absolutely love it so i really wish this would have hit but the titty part was too small and was just not gonna hold the girls any type of way shape or form and the skirt was also a little bit too small because it was hugging on my butt and it was hitting at a weird length not quite midi not quite maxi i was like eh. But I did like the little coverall thing, so I might pair this with something in the future. Wish it would have fit, because that would have been a nice club outfit. But, um, yeah, that concludes what I wore to my HBCU Homecoming, TSU Homecoming 2023. I know y'all got some more that's on the way, so I hope this gives you a little inspo. Y'all know Fashion Nova is a great place to get those last-minute looks, because that one-day shipping, it comes on time. It be getting me together. So if you are looking for last-minute fits or you need some HBCU or just Homecoming outfit inspo, this is the video for you. This is the place to shop. Go ahead and get your looks together because I know it had me together and I thank y'all for all the compliments on my looks. If you just follow me on the Libra scale. That's where you saw it first. Y'all was helping me put everything together. Y'all always keep your girl on her toe with her fashion sense. So I appreciate y'all. But yeah, that is all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed my video. Make sure you subscribe if you have not already. Come and join the crew. Come join the Tan Bandits. And I got some more videos and new things on the way and I hope you guys are there for the journey. See you in my next video. Stay true. Work, work, and work. I wish like me, yeah, I know my work. Fucking with me is a game.